Jacob, a 0-0 draw against Bolton today, a really, really tough game, but a good point? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, we'd have liked to snatch all three, um, but we knew they were going to be a tough side to play against. Um, they've battered a few teams in the league in the last couple of weeks, and had a um, bad result on Tuesday, um, so they're always going to come here and, and try and rectify things. Um, but I think we stuck up to the challenge well, and um, on another day we might nick it there. As a defender, a clean sheet for you. We've not had too many of those this year, but some, some great defending, some great last-minute blocks, some good heading. Farron Rawson and himself always looked on top. That was good to see for you. Um, yeah, I think, I think today we worked really well. Um, I think the whole team kind of had that, that passion and desire to defend and um, keep the ball out of the back of the net. Um, and there was a few good blocks. Shawsy right at the end there took one on the head. Um, Gibbo as well. So yeah, it was it was good. And hopefully we can take that into Tuesday and, and the rest of the games coming up to um, to kind of stop them goals going in and, and get a few in at the other end. What I noticed was towards the end, both teams look absolutely shattered, which shows how much you both put into it. Yeah, I think it, it was a bit like an old boxing match where where everyone was kind of just there was tackles flying in. It was going that end, that end, that end. So it was a real tough game. Um, and, and like I said, they're a good side. So I think we more than matched them today and, and we can take the positives out of that and, and move on. Looking now, you mentioned there to Tuesday, Cambridge United, uh, and we talk about it a lot, but it's a massive game, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a big game. I think every every game from now on is, is big. There's 12 to go, which is a quarter of the season, I think. Um, so we've got to go and get some points and, and push ourselves away from that relegation zone. And um, Tuesday is going to be a massive game because it's a six-pointer, really. When you say that a quarter of the season, it, it sounds quite a bit, doesn't it? Quite a big chunk of the season to go, so all could happen in that time. Yeah, I think um, we need to put together a run or um, and, and pick up a few results. And there's no reason we can't. We did it um, at the start of the year, um, winning a few games here. And, and we won, I think, four in five or something. And that... That pushed us away. I think we were six points adrift at Christmas, and um, so we've battled back to to get back to where we are. And now we need to to push away, as the gaffer said. It's moving to like moving time, moving season. So we've got to move up that league now. Looking at the game as well, away from home, it's going to be so vital to pick up some more points away than you've been doing. Yeah, I think um, I think we're we're a little bit disappointed with how we've performed away from home. Um, I think Fleetwood. I don't think the performance was bad. I um, thought we were all right at Fleetwood and, and we, on another day we come away with a point or, or three. Um, so, yeah, I think we've, we've got to improve away from home and um, Tuesday's uh, the perfect chance to go and do that. I think we saw today, uh, Conor Ripley's mentioned it a few times, Donald Love's mentioned it a few times, there is a real togetherness and spirit in that team to get those results. Yeah, the, the change room's one of the best I've ever been involved with um, the spirits there the boys are together um, so there's no reason we can't go and, and put our run together and, and get ourselves out of the relegation fight looking at yourself I mean it was such a hard day day to day everyone tired as you say Tuesday's not that far off how do you prepare for a game so quickly after a intense 90 minutes like that um, for me personally I, I eat right uh, eat a lot of food um, rest and recover and um, kind of just now it's that, it's that time of the season where the games have come so thick and fast that you don't really need to, to rest and recover. You can go again and go again. And, and on Tuesday, we're going to have to go again because it's a big game. You were in the team last year, similar position. Do you think that experience from last season will help you this year? Um, I think so. Um, obviously, I think it's almost identical um, being a point out at this, this stage of the season. Um, and, and last year, we put that run together later than we did um, or later than we can now, we put that run together with five or six to go. Um, so we've just got to keep working hard, um, to not get discouraged. And um, with the fans behind us, like they have been all season, um, um, hopefully we can get out of it, and I'm, I'm, I think we will.